Thank you, Paula. It is awesome to be here taking you through this presentation all about actually how to go about creating a cybersecurity education and awareness program to change behaviour. Um, gone are the days of that PowerPoint presentation once a year for a compliance tick. We've moved way past that. Now, a bit, bit about Know Before. We're the world's largest integrated security awareness training and simulated phishing platform. Our head office is in Tampa Bay in Florida. We have offices globally and an office here in Australia in Melbourne. I'm coming to you live from Adelaide today. Um, and it's lovely to be here if you're live with me. And also if you're watching On Demand, nice to see you as well. We, as an organisation, help tens of thousands of organisations manage the ongoing problem of social engineering, something to consider as we move through this piece, and also we're the winner of numerous industry awards. Now, firstly, I'd like to take a look at why the legal sector is such a lucrative target for cyber criminals. Gone are the days where it was, um, you know, the kids in the basement eating pizza, trying to hack into the FBI and the CIA. Things have moved so far beyond that now. Um, you guys are really high up on the list of desirable targets by cyber criminals. There's a few different reasons. Firstly, the key motivation for most cyber attacks is financial gain. So it's all about making money. And you hold a lot of sensitive, valuable data, um, corporate data, information on your clients, intellectual property, and so much more. And cyber criminals would very much like to jump in the middle of that conversation or transaction to take advantage and to make money or to sell that data for their own benefit. Also, you're an easy target, mainly because, unfortunately, and this is not a slight against the legal profession, it's just not your focus. Your focus is the law. So maybe your systems, your technology could be out of date, and these days we just can't afford to do that anymore. Everything needs to be upgraded. Patches need to be happening all the time, which is fixing those vulnerabilities in systems. Software needs to be looked at. Privacy, so many different elements it really is frustrating because it's not your focus, especially if you're a small organisation yourself. The larger places with a, you know, a few thousand people might have a tech department where life is a bit easier. And also you don't know what you don't know, hence why the valuable nature of these type of presentations for you to understand what is actually going on and what you can do. Because once you've got that knowledge and awareness around you with the risks associated with cyber threats and what's going on in the landscape itself, you will be better prepared. And that's what it's all about, preparation. You can't walk into a court and without any preparation, doesn't work. Maybe once you could do it for something, but not all the time. Now, let's have a look at the threat landscape as it currently stands. So in general, this is global and there's no particular areas where things are different per region, per state, per country, things like that. Cybersecurity has no borders and the statistics are quite global. I do have some localised stuff which is coming up, but firstly, cybercrime is up 600% since COVID-19 began. 